Hey guys, it's Jane here from Laser Gaming. Today, I want to talk about Battlefield 5 vs Black Ops 4 and why some reports are saying that Black Ops 4 may have already beat Battlefield 5. But before we end this video, just like I say, if you are new here, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe. And I'm doing a Battlefield 5 giveaway, so don't forget to go and check that out. It's the main page on my channel, and I should link it down below in the description as well. But, Battlefield 5 versus Black Ops 4. So this seems like it was going to be a pretty heavy hitting match. Battlefield 5 looks to be one of the best battlefields in recent memory. Um, at least I've played the game and it's actually really awesome and all the customization stuff they're doing looks really awesome. However, there has been controversy around the game. The developers have not been the best to the community and they've kind of disregarded stuff the community wants and what they sort of the direction they want the game to go in, which is what really should matter. Uh, whereas Black Ops 4, they've been really open to community feedback. They've changed the game for the community so many times and uh, they've just seemed really open to that. Even though there's a Black Ops pass and even though there's stuff like that, Black Ops 4 seems to have skipped over it. And recently an analyst report came out, and I'll put the news article on screen from CNBC, but an analyst said that Battlefield 5 pre-orders are lagging behind Black Ops 4 pre-orders by 85%. Now, this is a pretty big deal because even Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 were around like 20 or 30%. Um, and Battlefield 1 pretty much kept up with Call of Duty and was on the right pace and sold as much as Call of Duty. And uh, there was no difference. However, 85% less, that's almost half as many pre-orders as Black Ops 4, and this could be really bad for the Battlefield franchise. I think that Black Ops 4 isn't going to kill Battlefield 5, uh, but it's really they're just killing themselves. Uh, Black Ops 4 is going to be a very good game. It's going to be the best COD game in recent memory, uh, probably since Black Ops 3. Um, Treyarch is one of the best developers, and they always put out pretty much the best Call of Duty in the three-year cycle. Um, Whereas Battlefield 5, while it's good, it has had a lot of controversy around it. And what I don't get is why DICE continues to try to compete with Call of Duty. Battlefield isn't really like Call of Duty. It's a much different game. The only thing they have in common is that they're first-person shooters. Other than that, they play completely differently. They have completely different settings, game modes, and stuff like that. They don't really get why Battlefield always wants to compete with Call of Duty because it has been shown over time that Call of Duty will not give up that first-place spot on sort of the console market. I mean, obviously Fortnite beat it, but that's because it's a completely different genre, in my opinion. Now, what Battlefield should do, in my opinion, is they should just, after Battlefield 5, cut their losses and start releasing Battlefield in July and August. Um, I don't really see the need for Battlefield to compete with COD. I think there was no games that came out in July and August. Kids are out of school, people are have tons of time to play video games, and it's weird because summer is always the dead season for video games. There isn't much to play, there aren't too many new games to play at all, but everyone really wants new content and is urging to play games. Battlefield should release Battlefield 6 or Bad Company 3 or whatever it is in July of 2020, uh, or even June of 2020, um, maybe have the beta right at EA Play, and then release the game in July. I think that would be a really good way to sort of get around this constant competition with Call of Duty that really just drives the franchise down. Now, I think Battlefield 5 can still be saved. The beta is very good, and even the Battle Royale mode looks good, I think it can still be good. And even if Battlefield 5 only sells half as much as Black Ops 4, that could still be a lot. Uh, part of the reason why these numbers may be 85% lower is because Black Ops 4 pre-order numbers are so high. Black Ops 4 is probably going to get the most PC sales for Call of Duty that we've seen in a long time. And while that might not be too impressive because Call of Duty doesn't sell that well on PC, it definitely is significant. And um, I think that Black Ops 4, part of the reason why it's Battlefield is so much lower is because of Black Ops 4's success, rather than Battlefield 1.5's failure per se. Um, I think that when it's all said and done, Battlefield 5 will only sell a little bit less than uh, Battlefield 1, but when you think about it, Infinite Warfare sold so much less than what Black Ops 4 is going to sell. I'll bet you Black Ops 4 sells twice as much as Infinite Warfare did, and I'll bet you Battlefield 5, again like I said, is pretty much on pace with Battlefield 1. So I don't really think the message here is that Battlefield 1 is failing, I think it's that Call of Duty is pulling away and sort of going back to where it was in the past. Um, Call of Duty used to be a lot bigger, and I think Black Ops 4 does have the chance to retake a lot of that market share, especially with its Battle Royale mode, and the heavier focus on the zombies. Um, 
And yeah, so I don't think there's too much to worry about from Battlefield fans. The community is going crazy over this. Gamers are going crazy over this, how Battlefield's dying and Battlefield's failing. I really don't think it's that big of a deal. I think Battlefield 5 will do just fine. I just think it would be advantageous for EA and DICE to decide a different launch window for future Battlefield games. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comment section. I just sort of want to open this discussion about Black Ops 4 versus Battlefield 5. If you want more of these videos in the future and update videos, don't forget to tell me down below in the comments and drop a like on the video. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.